Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Sage video. In the previous video, we looked at raising and recording invoices and credit notes on Sage 50 Cloud. In this video, we're going to carry on with the customer module and theme the video around customers. Now, there are lots of things, lots of icons and lots of things we could do in the customer module, the sales ledger, but this is the basics of Sage 50. And it could be that a lot of these icons are not even appearing on your software if you have the most basic software. This is the most extensive software, so there's a lot more showing, such as data analysis, contra entries, request car payment, that sort of thing. A lot of these icons may not appear on your software. That's not a problem. My software is just a bit more extensive. As this course goes on, we will revisit modules already covered and go into the more advanced features of Sage, such as debt analysis, contra entries, etc. At the moment though, let's stick with the basics. This will be the last video on customers. You may wonder why I haven't covered recording customer payments or marking invoices as paid. We'll do that later on when we come to the bank module. In this video, I simply just want to focus on customer statements and reports. So to create a customer statement, simply highlight the customer you want a statement for and click on the statement icon. If there isn't a statement icon, click on reports and find the relative folder for customer statements. So click on statements, click on layouts, and then choose whichever layout is most suitable for your needs. I'm not going to spend the whole video going through each of the layouts. I suggest you just go through the layouts and see what works best for you. Once you have found the layout you want, if you just star it, then it will appear under favorites, just to save you scrolling through each time you want to find the statement you want. This is the same for invoices and all other reports on Sage. Let's click the preview, click OK. We'll then have the customer statement appear. So you can see this is a statement for Google Limited and we have the invoice and credit note on their account with balances down the bottom. Now some of these statements look pretty bare with no titles. The reason being this statement in particular is meant to be on Sage statement paper. If you chose or choose other layouts, you'll see there's lots more titles. Um, it doesn't require Sage paper. So that's customer statements. If you want to run statements for all your customers, then simply ensure that nothing is highlighted by clicking clear. Click on statements, click print preview, and then click OK. This will then create a statement for each customer. You can see I have two statements now because I have two customer accounts. If I had five customers, it would create five statements. Now there are a number of reports on Sage. Once again, I just suggest that you go through them um, by yourself and just have a detailed look at each one. There's no point me going through each of all these reports. It's going to take too long and it's just not necessary. There are a number of reports that I do want to share with you though. If you go to reports, it will appear as an icon here. If you don't have as many icons, it may be appear halfway across the screen. Reports, age debtors is a very popular report. Age debtors analysis, let's find a summary. Let's star this and an age debtors detailed. Let's star this. If I then go to favorites, they'll both appear. The age debtors summary will provide a report with each customer and the details of their account with regard to the age debt on their account and the balance of their account. Age debtors analysis detailed is the same, but it breaks down each individual balance. 
to create the total. You can see that each invoice and credit note is listed on the account rather than a summary of the balances on the accounts. There are other useful reports too, such as customer activity. If I click on this and click OK, you can get a report that shows all the activity on each customer account. That might be good when doing year-end accounts or monthly accounts and you just need to review everything quickly. There are also customer detail reports and lots of other reports. I suggest you just go through them and see what reports are useful to you and your business. Ensure you star them so you don't have to search them again. They would just appear in the favorites. Ensure that none of the customer accounts are highlighted by clicking the clear because if an account is highlighted or if multiple accounts are highlighted when you go to reports it will just include those that are highlighted on the report so this is age debtors analysis summary it just brings up Sandman supplies rather than all customers because that's the customer Sandman supplies that is highlighted so this is the end of the customer module we will come back later on in this series and look at other features on the sales ledger we'll go through these icons at the top but for now we've covered the basics in the next video we'll move on to the supplier module or the purchase ledger